This is just an update on the 2305 uh, Marconi uh, modulation meter. I replaced the chip that I thought was going to be the problem. Um, and though it hasn't resolved the problem with the AM detection, I now have the, the light on when it's got a um, IF lock. This little LED basically confirms that the uh, unit has got an IF lock. If I remove the signal, you'll see it's lost its IF lock. Um, and I replace it and it comes back on again. So that's looks like that circuit's actually doing what it's meant to do now. I still can't get AM modulation to work. I have also, however, fixed, you can see here the light's not great, um, the uh, uh, segment display, I replaced the chip on that so the display is correct. Um, and I'm just basically trying to go through the fault finding chart to um, work out what's going wrong. What the fault finding chart doesn't do is it doesn't go into any detail. So I'm struggling a bit with trying to work out what's, what to do next. But I have come across one thing, and one of my uh, subscribers, I can't remember who you were, but thank you for the offer, um, suggested that if uh, I needed any comparisons with a working unit, he had one, and he would be happy to take it apart and do some voltage measurements. Well, that's, that's great, but I've actually got one that's sort of working fairly well at the moment, so I won't need that. Um, one of my previous... Uh, comments was also that uh, when I was measuring pin 7 of the op amp that I was checking he thought that there was no volts on there um, but what actually happened was when I was measuring and you saw the scope um, trace jump up that's when I touched pin 7 the, the, the chip did have a supply um, but thanks for uh, spotting that but uh, that unfortunately wasn't the problem it did look like this, the chip had been damaged um, <clears throat> So what I um, just want to show you now what I've found, uh, and I've got to work through and try and work out which part of the board is a problem. If I feed a signal into the unit, you can, I think you can see there, let's put a better light on because the, the overhead light on it's not great for photographing. I'll just wait for the light to strike. Okay, so you can see on the display there, come on, whilst we're waiting for the light to to uh, strike. When I, what I'm doing is I'm fitting an RF signal into the uh, into the Marconi uh, meter, and then it's got an LF output uh, for monitoring the the basically uh, monitoring the output. I think uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's for, but I uh, when I connect a scope to it, I get nothing at all, and I'll demonstrate this in a minute. So there we go. We've got the signal going into the to the generator into the uh, counter, and you can see it's seven five nine two hundred which is what the uh, Roden Schwartz is putting in. Now if I get a, uh, a lead and connect it to the uh, scope, let's put it to the scope, let's connect it up to the scope, and we look at the IF output, we should have an IF signal produced on the wave for, on the scope. Um, and it's basically the same as a, as a um, on a super heterodyne really, basically it's got an IF frequency and it's always within a certain range so when you select a different range on the signal generator, I'm going to move it to around 40 megahertz you'll see it loses sync and then it's back into the same frequency you see the frequency hasn't changed much at all because that's your IF frequency, it's fixed the generator knows what frequency you're putting in, it reads the correct reading uh, so basically that's, that's the IF intermediate frequency, the same as I say is a a super hat. Now where it comes to being a bit confused is if I go to the LF output all I've got is a very noisy crummy signal very very weak nothing at all you see it's just a load of sort of hash on a display that's a maximum signal but let me compare it with my sort of working unit and this one's not working perfectly as you can see it's got a couple of problems where it struggles to get a lock it seems to be insensitive um, I think these things just basically need a full service and just turn the drive up a bit it will come in okay well, we've got the signal again let's go back up to 40 megs it's really starting to this one's starting to die as well so okay so that's 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 showing the frequency now now if I connect the IF output of the of this one uh, sorry the LF output of this one you see on the skirt we've got a much bigger trace. Let me just turn the time base down. 
you know, even though it's doing something a bit weird and it looks like it's struggling to get a lock, the, the output of the, of the waveform is much higher and it can be adjusted as well. Um, I don't know what's happening there, I don't know if I'm modulating it and it's confusing it, but it's... There's clearly something wrong with it, this unit as well. Um, let's put it to FM. AM. That might be normal, I don't know, but it's obviously producing an output, which is more than the other one was. Uh, but that might be all part of the AM detection mode. This is an FM, it doesn't show anything. It's feeding an FM signal into it. Okay. So maybe this LF output is actually the uh, the modulation of the, the signal you feed into it. So this is FM. Let me just adjust the RF level. Okay, the RF level doesn't make any difference, but the modulation level does. So this LF output looks like it's probably the, the modulated signal the, the, uh, that's in the carrier. So, okay, so that's, F, that's FM. Let's turn the FM off. Let's go to AM. Okay, there's our AM signal. It's just not just a time base. So it looks like our AM signal there. So let's do the same thing with the I'm stabbing about in the dark here, I really am because I don't really know to be honest with you what I'm doing. Um, the manual is is a, obviously a print of there's about five copies on the internet and they're all the same. Um, and it's very hard to work out what's what. Okay, so we've got our uh, frequency reading. Uh, nothing on the FM. Nothing on the AM. Let's give it some modulation. Okay, so that's loads of AM modulation. Still nothing on the display. Let's give it loads of FM modulation. No, still nothing. So. What it looks like now is I need to sort of take a step backwards and work out where this, this LF monitor is from because the FM detector works on it, the FM is not a problem. It's just the AM, it seems to me, doesn't work. But it doesn't, it's not detecting FM's uh, modulation through this LF output, so I think I'm probably jumping ahead too far. I need to come back, try and work out where this is. I suspect this is an earlier pick off point um, and have another look on the board. And see if we can work out. But we've fixed the display. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, it really it isn't really that important if I get this working or not. I'm not going to use it. This is more of a sort of like a like a puzzle for me to try and work out what's wrong with it and uh, hopefully get it working again. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll resolve it.